Hey guys, I'm Daniel Asher, chef partner at River and Woods Restaurant in beautiful Boulder, Colorado, Ashkara Restaurant, downtown Denver, Colorado, Tributary Food Hall in Golden, Colorado, uh, Barrio 75, uh, Taco and Tequila Lounge in Sun Valley, Idaho, right in Ketchum, and uh, opening soon, uh, the Ashkara Boulder location. Um, so optimally what we're showcasing today is great ways to utilize blueberries as kind of a master sauce experience where you can cross utilize the same base through multiple applications across your menu which generates an experience that the guest really connects with in, you know, in, in challenging times in the food service business where margins are extremely important and profit margins are tiny, 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 as we know, uh, to be able to utilize a few different things across multiple menu applications and have that ingredient utilization gives us a really great arsenal to work with as a culinary team. So what I'm gonna start with is basically a umami paste rub that features blueberries and miso paste in a great way to approximate dry aging of beef. So we're gonna put our miso in, uh, we're gonna add a little bit of filtered water, we add our blueberries, and quick note about blueberries, Obviously, being such a delicate and beautiful product, they have moments when they peak and they have moments when they don't look so great, right? So what do we do in the kitchen? Well, we wanna be able to do something so that we can utilize these at a later moment in time. So I like saying DIY IQF, easy process in house, super expensive from a company standpoint, easy process to do in a on a restaurant scale. Uh, sheet pan, take your blueberries that were good a couple days ago and you don't really wanna showcase as a fresh product anymore. Uh, throw them on a sheet pan, a little piece of parchment underneath, let them chill and freeze overnight or if you've got a blast chiller, one quick cycle on that. Throw them in a Cambro storage container or just gallon Ziploc bags, keep them in the freezer for when you need them. And then at this point, we would just slack them out real quick in a colander under running water and then they're ready to utilize. We've basically got these three ingredients super easy so you take this awesome blueberry miso just hit of salt and beauty and you rub it all over your cut of steak and you basically get it really nice and set it on your sheet tray you want to optimally use uh, set it on a rack so it gets that air circulation slide it on a speed rack in the walk-in let it go for 24 to 48 hours this has uh, about 25 hours of time on it and as you can see the meat itself has gone from what would be raw, um, you know, very soft meat to this very like tight, beautiful, sexy, looks like it's been dry aged for a, some amount of time. That goes on the grill. You can also do a quick pickup on the plancha. And then what you end up with is this really visually striking and balanced dish. If you look closely at the steak itself, it's got these awesome little bits of blueberry spread throughout. You've got this nice sheen that the miso paste has provided, and you've got this great plate experience that behind the scenes, you've got a pretty good food cost on. And now we're moving on to another beautiful way to take that miso blueberry base that we just did and create a sauce from that that's gonna go on this awesome plant-based dish. So we've got that base that we utilized before. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar, some beautiful mirin, wonderful local clover honey, minced ginger, gluten-free organic tamari, and then we're bringing in a nice note of fresh acidity, squeezing some fresh limes. At this point, your sauce just gets whisked. We've got a really nice organic extra firm tofu. I did a rub of Montreal steak seasoning on it. Put it in our Old Hickory smoker, about 90 minutes on that. Um, really just creates this amazing, very meat-like experience. And then we bring in our blueberry miso sauce. So that's our blueberry miso sauce. And then from here, we're gonna move on and enhance this sauce to create other ways to utilize it across menu applications in different categories. All right, now that we've done that beautiful tofu, uh, kimchi, and uh, blue oyster mushroom dish, highlighting that awesome blueberry miso sauce, we're gonna take, again, that same sauce and we're just gonna walk through another couple steps. We're gonna turn that into a really approachable vinaigrette. So what we are looking to do here is add a really nice note of acidity, and I'm gonna do that by highlighting some sherry vinegar. Arbequina olive oil, and get that nice emulsification effect. These are some beautiful local organic field greens. This is a selection of seasonal radishes. Really just an awesome, sexy, stunning visual dish that just already you're salivating. Then we've got some awesome Scarlet carrots here, 
these have been uh, grilled, uh, a little bit of olive oil, Rossal Hanout spice, uh, bring in some different global flavor profiles with this. A little pop of Marcona almonds, adds a nice, again, unexpected note. So you look at these two dishes, you set these down on the table, and they literally just pop with beauty and color. And the anticipated experience is only enhanced by the flavor profile of the blueberries. All right, so now we are taking that awesome vinaigrette, and we're taking that, and we're going to turn this into another technique, similar to the way tandoori is utilized. We're gonna add our yogurt. It's amazing how this just keeps evolving and changing as you go through it and you add these different layers of flavor and you're, yes, you're adding complexity, but you're also making it really approachable in many different ways. So we've got this and we're gonna do a little drizzle to marinate our chicken thigh. And then when you're ready to rock, just bring it over and set it up on your grill station. And then again, we just do bring back in that, that sauce experience. And then I'm bringing in some awesome dried blueberries. So you've got multiple ways to highlight the blueberries that also give this different mouthfeel experience as you eat through the dish. And we've got such an awesome way to highlight that beautiful dance between blueberries and miso. Thanks.